Now from here, try and feel on the downswing, we would hit the stick to allow us to feel that depth. Turn through and then hit the stick on the way through with our handle. Hi everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today's lesson is all about guiding your swing correctly through that impact zone. How we can get the arc of your swing, the circle of your swing to be correct every single time. And what I've done is I've set up a little bit of a station here. Now this station can be used in two different ways and it can also be used to hit shots also. But I'd probably recommend we use it more for practice swings to give us feels and then step to the side and hit a golf ball. And that's what I'm gonna show you now. If you are a first time viewer, please consider subscribing or following. I post videos every week on a variety of subjects and they're all designed to help you lower your scores and improve your golf. Keep watching to learn all about this practice station. So today's video, all about getting that correct delivery, the correct circle through impact. Getting the golf club to travel what I'd class as from the inside to square to inside. And what you'll see here with this practice station is I've got a yellow line here really, to, or yellow rod to represent the kind of ball to target line. And I've got two angled rods to represent pre-impact and post-impact. And the idea with this basically is what I want to do is feel that the golf club would never come over the top, which is the most common fault we'd see. And you'd either hit the rod here or go over the rod here. Or the other golfers we tend to see would be too much from the inside. And again, we'd hit the rod here. So we want to feel that this swing comes from a depth position to a square position to a depth position. So it returns and works in that circle as we've already said. So the idea being that if you imagine our hands, our hands are coming from an inward position from the golf ball, still on an inward position from the golf ball, but the club head's going to the golf ball, and then our hands are working more inward and upward again. And that should deliver us with what we would class as a neutral path or an in to square to in path to hit a straight shot. Obviously, if we were trying to favor a fade or a draw, we can shape this station to help that. The other good way of using this station is actually to step through it like this. Now from here, try and feel on the downswing, we would hit the stick to allow us to feel that depth, turn through, and then hit the stick on the way through with our handle, again, to feel the depth of our fall through. So again, if we wanted to favor one station rather than the other, we could do that. If we want to work more on the pre or the post impact, we can do that to help favor our swing shape. So we can go ahead now and hit a shot with this station. The only thing we have to be careful of is obviously if we do have the face quite open or the path goes to the right, we might well hit this stick. So make sure you probably do some practice swings first and hit some shots away from the station first, but use the feels it gives you. Let me go ahead and hit a shot down this fairway for you. So just pull down a little bit, trying to avoid this stick, making sure I didn't hit that on camera. I have done that before, it's not the best thing to do. But the idea in this is all to give you the feeling of that sense of the swing shape. As I said, I see far too many golfers and probably if I was gonna categorize it, the high handicappers would have the swing that would come over. And I see a lot of good players have the swing shape that the hands go too far out to the right. So this practice station will help all of you if we set it up to work a certain way and you use the feelings from it to help your swing change its shape. So have a go at this, even if it's in the garden, to help make your swing, let's say, more orthodox, more correct, more perfect, or even angled to help you suit your ball flight that you want to create. Please join the conversation and chat down below and also tell me what kind of videos you want to hear from me in the future. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you have enjoyed the video, please click like and share the video. It really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate if you could do that. Lastly, if you can, subscribe, hit my logo down this bottom corner, join me on my journey, and let's again help lower your scores and improve your golf. So thanks for watching and see you again here soon.